Hey Marissa, this is Holden Dress with Mobius Leads. I spoke with Jennifer on the phone yesterday and she said it was okay for me to send over this quick video. In this video I basically want to go over a few things that you can do yourself to actually increase the amount of traffic that's going to your business, getting found easier in the search results online. I'm going to take a look at how much traffic you guys are actually getting to your website per month and a few things that, like I said, you can do to start increasing that and getting some more customers. And a lot of times the only hesitation I see that people have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they don't know who the experts are and who they're not. And that's why I like to make this video because it provides some value to you uh, with some results that you can see. And it's just resulted in a lot of business owners actually coming back to me and asking me for my help. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I got your website pulled up right here. Um, I like that you've got your your license, that your licensed tree expert, you know, some things that people can see, uh, how long you've been in business. When it comes to Google optimization, the first thing Google really looks at is content. They want to see at least 1,500 words of content alone uh, just to be optimized. And I have this tool called the SEO Quake. It pulls some metrics off your page and it shows me that you have about 733 words. So you're falling short significantly of that 1,500 that Google really likes, right? So you want to make sure that you're adding at least 1,500 to 2,000 is what I recommend. Um, also up here in the title, this is what shows up here on this tab, on the tab when you uh, pull up a page or what shows up in Google. You know your description and your title. You need to make sure that you're adding in um, specific keywords into here and into your content. This is how Google matches. You know what people are searching for with your page. And key keywords are basically anything that someone searches for in this bar to find you. Tree service Gaithersburg, tree removal Rockville, uh, tree service near me. Uh, you, you know, Google wants to match what people are searching for with the most relevant content out there, and that, that means including those into your content and onto the, the back end of your page as well. And what you really want to do is make sure you're finding what we call buyer intent keywords. These are keywords that, you know, people are looking for these services right now. They're ready to reach out to a contractor today. A non-buyer intent keyword word would be true removal cost because, you know, they're just kind of looking around and trying to... Uh, basically do their research they're not ready to reach out to a contractor emergency tree removal would be a an example of a buyer intent because these people are having an emergency they, they need a contractor right now they're searching to reach out to someone so down here this is what we call the the Google map pack uh, this is where about 70 percent of people will actually click on when they search any given term up here uh, it's the first thing after the ads and it's got reviews, it's got your website, it shows where you are in re relation to them. So it's really powerful tool, it's free, it's Google's free tool. Um, so it's super awesome, one of my favorite ways to actually get traffic to a business. And the way that you get ranked up here in the top three, because there are only three spots, is by getting your name, address, and phone number into as many directories as possible. These are things like Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages. The more places you can add your name, address, and phone number, the better. Um, you just want to make sure everything is consistent across all of them. You know, if you're on your Google My Business, it says your hours are one thing, and your Facebook says your hours is a different thing, or your your website is has a different address. These are considered inconsistent in the eyes of Google and confusing to the customer, and you'll actually get deduct, deduct authority points for that. So keep that in mind when you're building these directories. Down here is the organics area. This is where the remaining 30% of people will go. You know, nobody people go past the, the first page, so you really want to be on the first page. Uh, and to do this, you need to get what we call backlinks. Backlinks are basically links from other websites to your website. And not all backlinks are created equal. Some have more authority than others, uh, depending on their relevance to your industry, right? So you don't want to go get spammy backlinks that have nothing to do with tree service or the services you offer. Um, or just pay some. don't want to pay some random person to just throw up a bunch of links and they don't really know uh, whether they're they're relevant or just from some spammy website, right? This tool is called Arefs. It's one of the more powerful tools in my industry to look at how much traffic is going to someone's business and why. So we're gonna take a look at yours. Right now it shows me that you have zero traffic going to your business monthly. You've actually got zero keywords that people are searching for or at least that you're ranking for. And you have 18 websites linking back to your website 54 times, so you do have some backlinks. This over here shows me the quantity of backlinks you have versus the quality of those backlinks. So this is just a kind of ratio that we use to determine you know, the quality and the quantity of the backlinks and how powerful they are. Um, 
So you can see because of these these reasons, right? You're you're not really getting any traffic to your business. But I'm going to show you some keywords that you should be targeting that actually might get you some traffic. So if you take a look here, tree removal Gaithersburg. This one gets searched 40 times a month. This means it's got a very low difficulty of ranking, so that's super easy to rank for. And let's take a look at Gaithersburg tree removal. Another 30 people a month, and it's got a difficulty ranking of four. And let's see, Tree Services Washington DC, 70 people a month, a ranking of zero. Tree Removal Maryland, this one's a little more difficult to rank for, as you can see. Um, Tree Service Washington DC, this is an easy ranking word and it has 150 people searching it a month. So there's a lot of keywords in here that you can capitalize on with a lot of traffic. People are searching these services. And if you're able to actually target these ones specifically, versus you know some of the well, I guess right now you're not really ranking for any then you would really start collecting a lot more traffic to your business and getting some more customers so I hope this was helpful and just to reiterate the three things content 1500 words at least uh, 2000 is better keywords adding those buyer intent keywords for your Google my business to get found in the map pack name address and phone number into directories things like Yelp and then finally, to get your website to rank higher on the first page, you need to go out and get backlinks. You know, find websites that'll let you put links on them to your website, whether it be commenting and blog posts and things like that. Um, anything's helpful. So I, I hope this is helpful. If you'd like to chat some more, please reach out. My information is in this email. You can respond by email or by phone. Um, but either way, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the video, whether you are interested or not. What, what you liked, what you didn't, but I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.